Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Mark Gaming, and uh, I'm sorry I'm a bit late on this. Um, I know Androids have had this update for a while now, uh, but for all my iOS guys out there, the new update has been released, and uh, it's uh, it's a it's actually a, a, a big update, and I'm really excited for this. So, um, two new things have been added in terms of weapons. So, if I go into the customized menu here, first off, I want to show you guys the shuriken. It's uh, it acts pretty similar, similarly to the throwing knife. In fact, I think it acts the same as the throwing knife. But um, yeah, this is actually really cool. Um, I like things like this. Unfortunately, I don't think it should have been, you know, one thousand gold. I think maybe for the throwing knife, uh, it should be like an add-on. If you buy it for maybe 50 gold or 100 gold, maybe it should have been like a different skin. But it's still nice to see this added. It's really cool. But the biggest thing is the UMP. And I'm not sure if this is the UMP9 or the UMP45. I don't think anybody cares. But right now, just like the uh, M60, it is in early access, or at least the M60 was in early access. But this gun is currently in early access for 1,000 gold, just like the rest of the early access guns. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And there we go. So it is 1,000 gold, um, which is around $10. But um, yeah, so it is an SMG, and it will be probably comparing mostly to the Vector here. And uh, as you can see, they have drastically different stats here, UMP. Seeming to have a bit less hip fire, but more accuracy uh, and a bit more damage as well, and more range and stuff. But again, we will we will have to see if I go into the customize here. It looks like most of the things are still the same in terms of what you can buy for uh, for the UMP. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll throw the, uh, if I'll throw the shuriken if I will buy the shuriken. Uh, I don't know if it's really quote worth it or not. It looks really cool, so I might buy it just because it looks cool. That lighting effect looks amazing. So, uh, I've equipped it now, and uh, there is also a new map, which is really cool. Zen, but looks like someone is, uh, they have it on, um, what you would call it, on a private match. So, hopefully I can join in. Here we go. Uh, I've showed you guys uh, pictures of this map in a previous video, and uh, yeah. So, here we go. UMP. Uh, again, don't know if this is the 45 or the 9. Doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody cares. And, uh, yeah, I mean, first things first, it looks really nice. See the lighting effects here. There we go. Looks pretty good. Iron Sights, uh, UMP. If you've ever played Battlefield or Call of Duty, you, you will recognize the, uh, you know, very iconic Iron Sights here. Running animation looks cool. Let's see the, uh, the fire rate. Oop. So, yeah, just like a, a regular UMP in real life would be, it has a fairly slow fire rate for, uh, for a UMP, for an SMG. Uh, so this will act more of a rifle rather than an SMG per se. Hip fire is just is non-existent. Oh my god, this thing is a laser. Um, wow. So yeah, new map. Uh, this is actually my. Whoa, is there two guys on here? Yeah. Um, first impressions. It looks, it looks pretty good. Um, I think this was Roadkill's last map, uh, made. So, big props to him making this last, this one last triumph. Uh, I really like this so far. Seems very close quarters. This dude. Oh, that kills fast. I don't know if he was already lit, but that was. Oh my god, that killed really fast. And that's the phone in the background as well. Iron Sight's pretty useful, so I'm uh, not sure if you'll need an RDS. Or if you will need to buy it, per se, if you're saving up money. And oh, geez. That was. Yeah, this fire rate. Or not the fire rate, the uh, damage per second. This guy. Oh my god, I'm bad. And I still killed him. Oh, he's behind me too. Wow, this, this does kill really fast. Um, like with most... Oh, I'm in the middle of two people. Like with most guns, uh, when they first come out, this will probably need to be balanced uh, in terms of damage and fire rate. It's, uh, no, I didn't want a knife. There we go. So yeah, uh, honestly, I didn't expect this thing to be balanced when it came out, but uh, I didn't expect it to be this insane. Oh my god. This really is... I mean, I've heard people say it's OP, and just like the M60, I was like, yeah, sure, okay. But this one, this one is, it might be, oh, hey, buddy, turn around, or don't. I don't think you can, uh, oh, we got hit by the M60. 13 and 1, though. So, yeah, again, first uh, first impressions here. Um, I might do a uh, sort of in-depth look video thing later, just like I did with the uh, MG4. That's the only video I did, and it really didn't get that much reception to it, so I just figured I shouldn't do it again. 
yeah, I mean, the map so far looks like it still has that sort of three lane uh, system that we've seen in previous maps and Call of Duty. Oh my, is that a, no way that's a three shot kill. If that's a three shot kill, then that definitely needs some sort of a, a nerf. Okay, that was three. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that looks like to be a four shot kill, but the fire eight. Oh, I forgot I don't have nades. I don't know. I mean, it could just be the lag is giving me a four shot kill, but it could be. Yeah, it's too hard to tell. Um, but this thing just hits like a powerhouse. I mean, as I said before, this will act, you know, this is bridging the gap between uh, a standard rifle like uh, the AK-47 and uh, like a gun like the MP5 or the Vector where they are SMGs. But yeah, this is definitely very interesting here. I bet you someone's already picked up my gun, kind of gone insane with it already too. Maybe coming around the corner or not. See that guy there. Okay, one thing I do have to say though is the fire rate, or not the fire rate, the uh, hip fire does seem a bit, a bit, uh, a bit crazy. Um, yeah, that guy was lit. I mean, you could just hold down a corner like this and. Oh, I just ran out of ammo. I don't know why I did that. Is he still here now? It's just the. The uh, UAV kind of going insane there. I don't know why. Oh, I thought that was down more. Okay, get that counter UAV up. So yeah, this is, um, I mean, first impressions, this thing does seem very good, at least. Probably very OP, honestly, as well. But the map as well looks pretty good. Um, I mean, graphics-wise, it looks pretty, you know, on par with the other maps. Probably better than some of them. That's a nade. Die! Okay, he's way over there. I don't know what I was doing. Reload seems kind of cool, too. I like the reload. This guy, he's too scared of me. And I can't hit him. What the heck? Oh, I'm so bad. So going 25 and 5? Yep. All right, get that UAV up. Can we, can we wall bang that guy? No. Boy, stop camping. There's going to be a lot of campers on this map. As you can see, there's corners uh, that anyone can really camp in. So, um... I wish that wasn't a feature of the map, per se, but, um, ooh, that was a nice headshot there. And, uh, with, and I think I am running extended mags here, so that's why I have 40 bullets. I don't think it would come with 40 bullets automatically. That'd be a bit insane. Um, so most likely, I do, um, I do am running with the extended mags perk. And there we go, 30 and 6. So, um, first impressions does seem a bit overpowered in my opinion, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Just like any other gun, you know, hopefully Lucas will try and balance this uh, in time before he leaves. Um, so, yeah, that is the new update, UMP45, Shuriken, and uh, a new map. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.